everybody! Welcome back to the Rags to Riches Challenge! We're going to be getting back in with Emily in her challenge today. Last episode, we had a little new addition to our challenge. We introduced Frankie into our home little family. Frankie, who is actually a girl, and even though she looks like well, a mix between a Sheba and a Nikita, I believe it said she was a, gosh, I'm going to say an Alaskan Malamute. Can't quite remember off the top of my head. A little update that I have realized that while I was editing and playing our other challenges on Twitch, our Perfect Sims challenge and our Lost Ember challenge are in the same world. So when I alternate between the two, we actually lose time. So last episode with our, our Rags to Riches challenge with Emily, we left on the first day of summer. But while I was away playing our other challenge, time of course passed and now we're into fall. So we missed out on summer with Emily. So to fix that, I'm going to move them into separate save files, into separate worlds, new crops and things like that. So we're going to jump back in with Emily on our rags to riches and we'll check on Frankie. Maybe we'll invite over her little date again and see if that goes any further. So without further ado, let's jump back into our rags to riches challenge. with Emily. Frankie is inside the house. Last time we left, Frankie got bit by a squirrel and apparently it affects their health if they're, if it doesn't go well. Um, let's have her go outside. Um, if it doesn't go well. So we're going to keep an eye on Frankie. Our cow plant's doing well. It is always, always hungry. But as you can see with the leaves in the ground, it is now fall. So we totally missed summer with Emily. And then we have a whole different round of plants kicking in so I think I believe we kicked off the series in fall or winter so we may be able to get back our original plants she's got a hundred and fourteen dollars to her name I went some custom content shopping a few days ago and I have some new stuff for Emily I've got some new furniture for us to get I have some new clothes and I think I finally found I believe a rain jacket for her since it rained so much this past spring and summer with her. So I do believe I found an outfit for her to wear in the rain. And we got some new hair, some new accessories. So at some point we will go in and change her look a little bit. And honestly, we might get rid of this bush if she's gonna keep going in it like this. Frankie has defeated a wild squirrel in paw to paw combat. Frankie does not like the squirrels. So it's 2 a.m. We'll feed Emily and we'll send her to bed. We should work on our house a little bit more. We'll bring, we'll invite over, I believe his name is Francisco. Frederick, not Francisco. Frederick, we'll invite him over, get to know him a little bit more, maybe go on another date. I'm just kind of go for, just, just play it by ear. All right, let's get rid of that bush. Now that we have a toilet, we don't need it anymore. And that'll give us a little bit of money, actually. So, let's go ahead and get Frankie a food bowl before I forget and he starves and runs away. So let's jump to food. So I did download some CCs. I have some new pet beds, a little dog house. Uh, I believe I got some new food bowls. I don't see them on here. I may or may not have downloaded them. I remember seeing them, though, on the page. So, let's go ahead. How much is this? It's $10. You gotta love custom content and their pricing. So, we'll get Frankie a bed. Mm, that's for a small dog. Frankie's a large dog. And we'll get him a bowl, which is $2.40. So, we'll go pink. And we'll get Frankie a bed. Frankie gets to sleep inside, but we won't be able to. So,. I have three colors. How is that a large bolt bed? That looks like a small bed to me. Let's see if he can actually use this. It just says to put in the inventory. So it may just be for a show. It may not we may, may not even be able to use it, which I will be sad if that's the case. All right, let's play. And I don't have enough money to fill her food bowl at the moment. So we've got 
cereal in her inventory. So we're going to send her to bed and get back on the real world schedule. Look how many plants we have growing. Frankie! Oh gosh. What are you doing? He's got a glowing red nose and he's blue. Just as I was saying, we don't have enough money to feed him. Now we have to take him to the vet. And I don't know if we have money for that. Yambala Aziz. Poor Frankie. Uh. Alright, so let's go to the vet really quick. To the hospital. So let's go check her in. Alright, Yvette will be with you soon to examine your sick pet. Please be patient. Let's comfort her. So I could give her a treat, which is $5, or I could wait until we could sell something. And then I'll get $40, and then, um... When we have $40, we can, like, fill yes the entire little food bowl thing. Okay. So, it's going to be more bang for <laughs> our butt, so we're going to wait, hopefully, <laughs> Frankie doesn't starve or run away from us in the time. Walrus! Let's sit and wait. I think the vets are trying to come get her. Uh-huh. There we go. Anxious. <laughs> Alright, so... Which room we go into? Uh-huh. Yes, an orb! Soul. Afora Ulax. Okay, Frankie has Winterfest fever. So, basic treatment... It's $150, which we don't we don't have, so I don't know if it'll let us go negative or not. Well, apparently that worked. And it didn't take any money out. I don't really know what worked there. Let's pet, can we pet her? I can't do anything while she has a cone on her head. So there's Fatia. She now has a collar on, which is new. So I don't know how she didn't... I don't know how we lost the whole stray interaction with her. I'm not quite sure how that happened. Get off your computer. Let's go home. So we somehow got away with a free vet treatment. And poor Fatia is all sad. In the cone of shame. So let's go home. And it looks like there are some crops that we can harvest. So we can get a little bit of money and then feed her. That is the priority at the moment. Where are you going? She's going to dig us up something? What you got? And she's filthy. So she brought it. She got something. Clevite Bainu, Fredoiba Fala Yadim, Sipane Frost. Let's open this present that she got. A fossilized alien skull. Interesting. So let's sell these mushrooms, and we now have enough money to feed poor Frankie. So let's go feed poor Frankie. can breed some frogs, get a little bit of money. Let's see. So this is super rare, this alien skull. And we're gonna set this time. We'll keep it on six hours. So here's this alien skull. And it's super rare and worth 250. So we're just gonna go ahead and sell it. Maybe one day we'll be at the point where we can just keep it all. And I'm not sure. What are you doing? Simsei, 
Hitaru! Don't yell at my dog. Let's give her a bath, because she's filthy. So I guess it's a good thing we got a bathtub right off the gate, because we can pet, we can give our dog a bath. Wait, boo. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, let's go ahead and try and make some money. Let's do a painting. Painting level two. We can now discuss color theory with other sims. And I think she is painting... What it, What was it called? The, so, the socializing bunny? And he was in Sims 3. When your Sims didn't have enough social, they went crazy and they started hallucinating this bunny. Alright, so sell it. We got $33 profit. And let's invite over our special friend. Frederick. Holly Kay. Fefete Pelka. Kumiao Bouchard Sposham. He'll be right over. Let's invite him in now that we have a house we can show you. I don't think Bottom we had a gravy? house last time. Huh. Oh, yips. Okay, and he went right back in. Right back outside. Let's give him a hug. Let's grab it. All right, let's just, let's just chat a little bit. Our romance bar isn't totally What's at the top. Uh... Oh, Bellino. Kazoom. Huh? Who's a quimp? Bumpler! Oh, Noi Lonkas. Punaray. Talk about the bait. We haven't took her fishing in a while, actually, now that we've gotten a fridge. Scripto Narch. Borada. Can Kubu Koiba? Oh, Yibs! Grebo for Bay. Let's send them fishing together. Fish together with Frederick. And he's gonna show us up, I'm sure. Uh oh. Our cow plant has put out his cake. So we'll have to feed him when we get back. Hopefully he won't eat Frankie. You really hope not? There we go. A little fishing date. Oh. Yeah, they're just like awkwardly standing next to each other. They're not talking at all. Oh. Oh. Say something. Mm -hmm. Like. Ooh. That's gotcha. a mentor. <laughs> Level five. We. If Yoba Torka, Floniki, Shonawazi. So he's teaching us how to fish now. Developing a mental fortitude and patience required to be a great fisherman. Emily can now fish in any weather and fish even while being a little uncomfortable, tense, or stressed. We now catch a grub all day. Oh, that's like a good one. It's Rogaba. Big old bass. And now we're focused because we're fishing like a bro. Huh? Torka. Nice no, cheeky. He's like teaching us like how to cast, I guess. <sighs> Affine, Fremo, Bibani. Let's serve dinner. Let's do some fish tacos now that we just caught some fish. And we can have some dinner with Frederick. <sighs> so we'll eat our tacos and then we'll send her to bed. Huh. Ugh. Frankie found his bed. So the dog is to sleep in the house, but we don't. So maybe we will work on either our garden or we'll build a bedroom for Emily. And it's Harvest Fest. Bring on the gnomes. Bring on the gnomes. There's one. We have a little alien gnome. Let's see, any more? Usually they oh look at our garden. Heck yeah. 
We got some good ones today. I think we only got one gnome. Oh, oh well. So when she wakes up, we'll have her, we will feed her cow. And we will appease the gnome with a toy. We'll come appease these gnomes. Alright, appease the gnome. She gave it like a little cop car. Oh, yes! Alright. Oh! Oh, Rexel. Let's see if the second one likes it. No, he did not. Oh. Oh. And number three. Oh. Okay. So we only have one no to ask for forgiveness. <laughs> oh. oh, Grandfam Carl. <laughs> Please, please forgive me. Please, oh gnome. <laughs> oh. Ah. All right. Oh, so he likes us. Usually whenever I plead for forgiveness, they like electrocute you. <laughs> so I'm always afraid to do that. So let's harvest all of our new crops. We'll put some in our fridge and we'll sell the flowers. And then maybe we can fertilize actually. I forgot to put our fish in the fridge. We're eating cereal at 11 a.m. Let's clean these up. And let's invite over... Frederick! So, we'll sell our flowers, get some money. Some good money. So Holly. Rinka Shalbo. Oban. Frederick is right over. And we'll sing about the harvest festival. And we've got some new ooh. No, that's a tomato. I thought it was a pomegranate. Curva. Oh, so we got some new stuff to plant too. Kazoom. Who's a quimp? Can you believe Bumbler. all these oh. gnomes in my oh. house? Yeah, who? Kudas. Oh. You miss. Sing about Harvest Fest. Shoop ooh, did you feed oh, me? Okay. I thought she was like doing bleep bleep to my Broom shaby. Boy, oh, yeah, uh, gnomes. Vobal Soapy. Who doesn't Zoom? love strange Me. gnomes in your house? Free but ah. Drinks growl. Let's talk with Frederick a little bit. We know he's single. We've already asked him that. Let's blow him a kiss. Please don't get eaten. Norman, don't eat him. We like this one. We could woohoo in a tent. Or we can just be friends. I like how those are right across. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Feed the cow. <laughs> oh, like Zerf. Zombas. Let's embrace. Smurfs with the Suave. Arm boy. I really care about you, Frederick. Please don't get eaten by my cow. So, so. Yo, Suavo, you know. Champy. <laughs> We'll behave for you. Jeez. Peace. Come on. Schwabi Koiba. Inja, Inja. Uh huh. Javi. Gosh of Wibs. Gorb. Schwabi from Should he be our boyfriend or should we, like, keep looking around? Or should we give it some more time? I don't know. I'm not so. too crazy over Frederick. But Emily hasn't exactly <laughs> played Rinka. the field yet. Spraying in person. Narfug. No. <laughs> Don't do that. Narla. Mean. Scold. <laughs> I swear, if he gets eaten. <sighs> so let's go get some leftovers. I mean, Frederick's just helping himself. Oh no, he's cleaning our fridge. What you doing, bud? 
No, you're not helping. You're just making more of a mess. Magic! Come on, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should get going. I'll see you later. So he's not very interesting when I am not prompting. Oh, gnomes. Um, he's not very interesting when I'm like prompt when I'm not prompting the conversation. So maybe we should find someone else. What you scrap about? Let's give her a play. Okay. So we have thirteen hundred and eighteen dollars. I can hear a um I think I hear a train in the background. We got some wild roses we can harvest. Maybe. Do we want to go on a date? Oh! He wants us to go to the Blue Velvet nightclub. Maybe there's hope for Frederick after all. Let's see. It's Harvest Fest, but we got a good amount of seeds, so I'm not too worried about leaving the plot just yet. All right. Oh, on TV. She's already flirty. So let's just let them play. Let's see what they Garza. do. Frongaguis, Dens Doba, Tribna. Oh, huh? She's complaining about Harvest Fest. Oh, why are you complaining? Hey. They just brought so you winny. all of those Crimbo, seeds. Crimbo, Jalorba, Blue-Eyed, uh -huh. Bibidoy, a bean. Shibi, Jabina. Oh, can I game? <laughs> oh, move. Oh. You blew us a kiss. Okay. Twice. Mm. Some people dancing. Wait, is that that bartender that blew us off? It is. It's Rylan. It's Rylan who blew us off when we tried to go on a date. Yo, Rylan. What happened? We've got Brant. We know about Brant. Who's this guy? Johnny. We have Nina. Yeah. Where did our, our date just left us? Frederick. Hey, Shamagra. You left us for chips. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of this guy. I think we might let Frederick go. Who's this guy? Makoa. Let's talk with Makoa. Oh, my, his outfit. That's about career. Just get to know you a little bit. Like, I don't want to, like, totally focus attention on, some, on other guys because we are on a date. But our date did leave us outside in the cold. And a vampire just showed up. Enos, Davin. Um, don't call me ever. Well, excuse me. You left us on our date. No, this date sucked. I think we're done with Frederick here. Whatever. Should we give Rylan a chance, or should we just go out on the prowl? I think we should just go out on the prowl. No, we're not traveling with anybody. Nightclub. Let's try this one. It's 10.32 at night. Oh. <sighs> we have Alex, Meredith, Dominic is here. Let's try, let's see, let's introduce ourselves to this guy. What's his name? Joquin? There's Candy. Befite Pelka. Kumiao Boo Sharp Sposhim. How's your day going? Barleen Yorid. Get to know him a little bit. This girl's socks and sandals. Yanabi. I'm some Prita. Grump Tebo. Where's the bathroom? I think it's upstairs. I want to change Emily's look a little bit because. I absolutely I hate this this little ski outfit thing we got going on here. I did download I think Jimmy! one jacket. Quit dancing. Oh. Go upstairs. 
Okay, there's actually a closer one here. And a separate dance floor down here. Let's give her something a little more. If she's out on the prowl, she's got to look better. Jubbing. Zopping. Let's see. So a skirt is not going to be super practical for the cold weather. Let's try something else. So she's got a little bit of money to her name. She's not super duper poor anymore. So she doesn't have to dress super practical anymore. She can have a little bit of fun. Huh. I kind of like the leggings vibe. Let's see. We've got regular jeans. Leather. Let's go back to our leggings. And let's get rid of the heels. Emily's not at the level where she can wear heels yet. And if it's snowing outside, you're not going to want to be wearing heels. Let's give her some better boots here. Some winter boots. She can wear her cowgirl boots. I think that'd be okay. Kind of reuse a little bit. And then her cold weather look. What is this makeup you're wearing in? What is this? Let's fix her hair a little bit here. So I downloaded a bunch of new custom. Oops. Let's see, something for cold weather. So she has the braid with her every day. The car colors are off. But, and then she's got the ponytail with her workout, I believe. Or no, it's her hot weather. So she can pull it up or she can keep it down. We can put the hat back on her if we want. It's super long. We can do a different braid. We have some buns. Ooh, Ooh I like that one. Can we do a hat? Ooh, it looks like she has a giant head. Let's put her little... Where'd it go? Let's put this guy back on. But she looks a little bit better if she's going to be out on the town. She's not wearing those frumpy, weird ski clothes anymore. Alright, Em. Let's go meet some people. Who's this guy? Don, Lothario. We've got the bartender over here. He looks not- he doesn't look bad. Emerson. Let's get to know Emerson a little bit. Barbo. Ask him if he's single. Oh, yo, yo. and Gravy. Oh, Yibs. Pinkubu Koiba. Oh, Yibs. He is. What about you? Let's brighten your day. Get to know you a little bit. What do you do? Are you single? Oh, <laughs> that is. <laughs> Who is this? this is Dawn. Bon and Gravy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yibs. Yeah. Dawn is non committal. Oh, Yibs. Bon and Gravy. Yibs. Oh, Yibs. A colonel at the police station. I can't talk. Single. Cardu Sebi. It's a boy Spano. He doesn't look. Don doesn't look bad, but he's got that non-commitment thing going on. So let's get to know him a little bit more. See how we feel about him. Harvest Day successful. Emily, Emily had a wonderful time. I got to do everything she planned. Oh, dag dag. Oh, I guess he's off shift. So let's go meet some others. We got Mohawk guy over here. Oh gosh, Yuku. Panipo? Yes. I met him already. Yes, miss. And it's 2 a.m., so honestly, we might go ahead and just send Emily home. Let's go home to our dog. The one and only love we need right now. 
But she gets to meet some new people. We learn Frederick's two colors. True colors. Two colors. So let's send her to the bathroom and then we'll send her to bed. And we've got some gnomes now in our house. What is this? Don't know what that is. Put that away. And we can get to gardening and raking in some profit. Normally, I keep all these gnomes, but Emily needs the money. 210, 190, and 51. Let's take inventory of our garden here. I know it is a giant mess. Let's fix it up a little bit. Okay. A little bit more method to this madness. So, let's go in. And So, we have plenty of carrot. We have four carrot plants. So, we'll put the rest of these in here to cook. We have strawberries. We'll put those away. We don't have any dahlias. So, we'll put those to plant. Some tomatoes. Now, do you guys consider tomatoes fruits or vegetables? Because I know that people say they're fruits, but I consider them vegetables myself. Let's see, crocus, those are new. More snapdragons, we got plenty of snapdragons. Bell peppers, those are new. Lemons! So we don't have to go back and do the, whatchamacallit, to the estate and get lemons now. Emily's gonna wake up and be like, oh my gosh, there's so much work to do. Plenty of roses. We can sell this rock. We've got grapes. Put those in here. Plant that mushroom so it's so it matches. Can you tell I like it organized? Okay. And we have one more seed packet to open, but I think that looks so much better. So much better. Let's check on Frankie. Cute little Frankie. He's just gonna whine the whole time. Whoop! Kitty came to say hi. Kiki, come here. Come say hi. Say hello. Say hi. This is Ray. Everybody, if you've been watching Perfect Sims Challenge, you will know a little bit about Ray. But here she is. She's ventured out of her little hiding place. Emily must have been exhausted. She's sleeping in today. Gosh, she's exhausted. And I bet you this cow is hungry. No. Whenever I think he's gonna be hungry, he's never hungry. All right, she's awake. What are you doing? Don't eat the cake. No, 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 no. Emily! Emily, no! Oh, God. Oh, this grow bulls, Oh gosh, kitty. Emily just got eaten by the cow. <laughs> Ugh. I just looked at him too and he wasn't hungry. What the heck? Well, now we can milk it. Which, honestly, I haven't done before. But I also tend not to try not to get eaten by my cow plant. She's like, what have I done? What have I done? Play. Yeah, now you're disgusting. Oh, Borba! Cow plant juice. <laughs> so Emily squeezed out a mysterious liquid, essence of happiness, because she was in a happy mood when she got eaten. See, even Frankie's like, why did you do that, Mom? Why did you talk to the... And she feels drained from the cow plant, feeling like an emotionless shell. So... Let's feed him before that happens again. 
See, Frankie's like freaked out. Shoot shot. Wow. No, I'm not hungry. Cheer him up. What's wrong? Take a bath. Alright, so she can go eat. We've paid our bills. So here's that essence of happiness. And it's not worth anything, so we'll just keep it. Honestly, she could probably drink it and feel better instantly, but... The whole day has been wasted just because... What the heck? Floating plate. The whole day was wasted because she got eaten by the dang cow plate. Alright, so let's plant. Alrighty. So she's getting some fun. She's leveling up her garden skill. We're gonna have to re totally rearrange these. What was the point? What was the point of us doing it? No, Frederick, we're not hanging out with you. No. Okay, so Emily's gonna go to the bathroom and we're gonna fix this mess that she just made. So these were our dahlias. Let's see if this will move her. Ah, she, she's just gonna lay on top of it. Nope, there it goes. Okay, those are fixed. So we'll let Emily take care of her needs a little bit. Bella Goth? No, that's not Bella Goth. Who is that? Lilith Vator. Believe she is a vampire. So we'll fix her needs a little bit, and then we're gonna get our profits and renovate this house. So let's check out what we can sell. Let's sell our flowers. Put these in the fridge. Okay. It's time to go shopping. Alrighty. So. Let's see here. Let's move these guys. I want, let's build, let's work on building Emily a bedroom. because we did not do that in the past. Our puppy dog is buried. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. Let's build a little bit of a deck. do that. Oh, our roof is off. Let's fix that. Oh, that's because we did the extension last episode. So let's move all these frogs out of the way for now. Maybe? Hang on. 
we're so close. So close. Maybe after we... Actually, no, I can't do that. Dang it. so close. Alright, so it's gonna be a work in progress. Work in progress. It's okay. We made some good progress. Like, this, like, looks like a like a legit house now. We've got s in the cakes out. We've got some stuff all over the yard, but this is actually starting to look like a little house. Frankie, if you have to go, just go. You're outside. I want to show you guys the custom content that I got. So here's some of the stuff I got. I have a little rug, some pillows, fire, and a firewood storage. I also got this, how, me trying to find it all is going to be an issue. This fireplace, that's not a fireplace, that she could get, it's 200. But it's like a country style fireplace. We could put it up there. We put the little wood by it. And it's like, it's got that cabin and cottage kind of feel. So when we build her on eventually, it also came with like this um, decorative brick behind it. So we can eventually get there, get her a fireplace. We got this little, actually, I don't think I downloaded the couch. Let's see. I have a filter here, but I've got some fur rugs, I have some new beds, some blankets, so I have a lot of new custom content for us to try out, but unfortunately Emily is ru still roughing it outside in the tent. Yeah, we can evolve these guys. Not that one, he's a little light bloomer. All right, so let's see what we can get from that really quick. Sell the flowers. So let's go ahead and see if we can finish this extension. Yeah! Heck yeah! here. Let's try and pull out the roof a little bit. And let's make sure it all matches. Heck yeah. Emily has a new room to her house. Heck yeah. Alright. So, let's do a little, little re remodeling here. And let me see if we can afford a bed. Which I don't know if we can. We cannot afford a bed just yet. But look at that. We've got a potential living room and a potential bedroom onto our house, ready to go. We can put, let's see. We've got our garden all fixed up. Our cow plant can come a little bit forward. We'll leave our frogs and all that there for now. Just kind of re, just so it's not in your face. But yeah, we're doing pretty good, guys. Pretty good. So Emily's doing well. She's happy in her new outfit. Whoop, close up. In her new outfit, she's got a new look to her. We have a new extension on the house. 
Frederick, we decided it's not for us. It's not for her. We have Frankie, our currently our only love in our life, who survived the squirrel bite and defeated, I think, three other squirrels since then. He's been, oh, we have some roses to sell. Maybe. It's glitching out. Can't touch it. What are you doing? She's gonna go play with the cow. I swear, um, if you get eaten. But we did meet some new people on the program. She was out and about after me. Frederick just kind of like, don't call me. Okay, he's loud. So, I think we did a pretty good round. I think we had a pretty good episode today here, guys. But thank you so much for tuning in. I think we had a great stream today. Emily definitely has had some major changes. She realized that Frederick was not for her and and right now Frankie is currently the only one in her life. It's just her little little baby girl. She did have to go to the vet and we somehow dodged that vet bill. Not quite sure how that happened. We have a new extension on the house. We have a potential bedroom, potential living room. So we're, she's doing pretty good. So guys, thank you for tuning in. We're going to get back to you next week. And I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I will see you guys next time and thank you all for tuning in. Bye guys. Thank you.